Hey guys, what's going on? We're almost one week into robotic startup and things are good. It's been a lot of work, but all the prep work we did really paid off. You need to listen to the professionals, do what they tell you to do, because uh, training them feed only for a while saved on a lot of pushing into the robot. And you can see we have volunteers in there being milked. Always a good thing. And uh, if you're not doing a lot of pushing and pulling, the fetching really isn't that bad. You just kind of get them in the neighborhood of the robot and they go in because they know it's a good thing. Um, overall, I mean, it's exhausting. You need someone in this barn a good 18 to 20 hours a day the first couple of days, just uh, constantly fetching cows and keeping an eye on things but I think by the end of uh, this coming week things will get a lot better on that front um, really couldn't be happier I mean we're working more than we ever did in the other barn but it's not really that labor intensive and I think this week we need to focus on working less I think uh, there's too many people in the barn right now you need to let the cows do their thing and figure it out on their own. Because I think uh, if you start pushing them, you're always going to be pushing them. So cows are smarter than what you give them credit for. They know when they need to be milked. They just need to figure out where to go when that happens. So the barn's been working out great. Um, it's a nice environment for cows. Um, had our first baby in here. It was really easy to take care of cow and calf. No issues. Um, I'll show you. I don't think I ever showed you in any of my other videos, but our calf pen. This is where uh, they go after birth. And uh, they'll stay here for a couple of days before they go out to a hutch. But could you ask for a better environment for a calf? I don't think so. What's up guy, you hungry? Go into this robot room here, see what's going on. Okay, so that's the wash cup. Cleaning our teeth with a solution. That's going to help her let her milk down because it feels really nice, warm water. Now it's just going to attach the cups. Look at that. It's almost like this robot knows what it's doing. She's projected to milk 27 pounds this milking. So, yeah, it's starting to get some history on the cows and know what they do. This yield per teat, 7.1, 6.6, 6.4, 7. So it not only knows total yield, but yield per teat. So life as I know it right now is you press cows and you look for your red cows. So 726 hasn't been here in 12 hours. So that's a cow that you gotta go out and look for. But she's also way far out in milk. So we're gonna give her more time because at 386 days in milk, there's no way that she's that uncomfortable. So we'll give her another couple hours. That You gotta pay attention to things like that. You look at your cows that are early in milk, those are more important than go fetch than your late days out. At least that's what they're teaching me right now. So things have been fun, more videos to come. Uh, I hope the quality of this video is better. I upgraded to a GoPro. Had a lot of complaints on the audio of my old camera. 
That was a $35 camera that I picked up on Amazon. So uh, things are getting better everywhere. So thanks a lot for watching. I just hit a thousand subscribers. I couldn't thank you guys enough. Uh, especially shout out to Chris Duffy. Uh, he was the one that got me over the hurdle of a thousand subscribers once he started mentioning me on his channel. So um, yeah, I never thought I'd make it this far. Started from the bottom, now we're here. So peace out.